um, already. The team's done an incredible job. And we actually have an Optimus bot with fully Tesla designed and built actuators, battery pack, control system, everything. But we wanted to show you the, the robot fairly close to what will go into production. Musk, a man of few words and many tweets, said that the Optimus bot might have a transformative influence on the global economy, observing that if there is a limitless supply of labor, there is theoretically no limit to how massive an economy can get. Musk believes that this robotic workforce will usher in a world of plenty, where there is no poverty and you can have everything you want in terms of goods and services. Twitter's new CEO described the social network as a collective superintelligence that might be humanity's last chance against the emergence of artificial intelligence. In one of his tweets, the Tesla executive stated that humans may gain from Twitter by leveraging its collective brain power to defeat AI since the microblogging network is a collective cybernetic superintelligence. Because it consists of billions of bi-directional interactions every day, Twitter may be thought of as a collective cybernetic superintelligence, Musk said, adding that there was still a lot of space for development. Musk argued in his tweets that Twitter might be seen as a hive mind or communal consciousness. Multiple minds or consciousness are united into one collective intellect in a group mind. It is a much bigger topic than you can imagine. Robots will be able to do everything better than we can, Musk claimed in the conference. I've seen the most cutting edge AI, and I believe people should be very frightened. It's nothing. That bot will move rapidly in a few years, so you'll need a strobe light to see it. Sweet dreams. The project is still early, but Musk's ambition is clear. He claims that the robot will cost less than $20,000 and would ultimately be capable of doing a wide range of human duties, from simple home chores to industrial work. While other robotics firms such as Boston Dynamics may have more amazing physical demonstrations of what their humanoid robots can do, Optimus is unique due to its brain, which is driven by the same AI technology that powers Tesla's self-driving vehicle program, according to Musk. This technology enables the robot to recognize and name unique items, comprehend the physical environment it inhabits, and operate real-world objects such as picking up and moving boxes. And this is just the beginning. Wait until it will be so good that you either will be scared or fascinated about it. Technology doesn't have to be perfect before it can be used in the real world. Musk showed that his engineers were developing Optimus, a humanoid robot that may someday handle global labor shortages and in the near term could move products around a plant. While some argue that using a humanoid robot to undertake risky and monotonous duties is precisely the incorrect strategy, there are not too many other options out there when you consider how hard it is to increase efficiency of factories and plants. The responsibilities that Tesla must do are well known. These operations from lane identification to pedestrian monitoring and robot self-control are performed in real time. Later that year, Musk reiterated his warning when appearing at the annual summer gathering in Washington, D.C. Elon Musk never tried to hide the fact that he is working on the most futuristic products and services. That is why some call him Iron Man. Machine learning is the pinnacle of hyper-reality. Because it is based on a process rather than the behavior of actual objects, even if it takes their behavior into account, its outcomes will seem as believable as reality, imitating reality without being a reality. That explains why Elon Musk, a hyper-real human operator, is keen to confirm his dread of the toolbox he is spending and why we should understand that his anxiety justifies the investment. This frames him and his company as humanitarians since their goal is to uncover and, presumably, prevent wicked applications of the instruments. So far, OpenAI has positioned itself as a military teacher, educating trainees to know the adversary. Musk is our guide to the future, casting us as hitchhikers in the cosmos. Despite this, he maintains that the problem still needs to be fully understood. My estimate of why highly brilliant people miss AI is because very smart individuals do not believe a machine can ever be as smart as they are. And this is arrogance, and it is patently untrue, he continued. We're on our way to a scenario in which AI is much more intelligent than humans, and I believe that time is less than five years away. However, this does not imply that everything will go to hell in five years. It just means that things become unstable or strange. The main question is, will it have net positive or net negative in the world we live in? At the World Government Summit in Dubai, Musk said, 
Sometimes what will happen is a scientist will get so engrossed in their work that they don't really realize the ramifications of what they're doing. He believes that the only way to avoid human obsolescence is to have some form of union of biological intellect with computer intelligence. A neural lace, an injectable mesh that essentially hardwires your brain to speak directly with computers, could be used in this Vulcan mind meld. We're cyborgs already. Your phone and computer are extensions of you, but the interaction is via sluggish finger motions or voice. A neural lace within your skull would wirelessly transmit data from your brain to your digital gadgets or practically infinite computing capacity in the cloud. I believe we're about four or five years away from a significant partial brain interface. Musk then unveiled a new brain-computer interface firm seeking to implant a brain chip using a sewing machine-like technology shortly after making the statements. Sounds very strange, but does it mean those humans might be able to upgrade their software system too? Elon Musk established a reputation by arguing that artificial intelligence is more dangerous to the human race than the most powerful war machine. During his speech at MIT, Musk referred to AI as humanity's greatest existential danger. He likened it to summoning the devil. He stated that autonomous robots are more harmful to the world than North Korea and might spark the next global war on humanity. Musk explained how superintelligent computers will come to govern the planet. Elon Musk posted a tweet in April by saying, nothing will affect the future of humanity more than digital superintelligence. He urged his followers to go see the movie and went on to say, the theme here is that AI may take a little bit to wrap its tentacles around a new talent, but once it does, it is unstoppable. Musk though is not alone in raising the alarm. AI academics at Oxford and UC Berkeley, as well as famous physicists such as Stephen Hawking, and many of the researchers producing innovative discoveries all agree with Musk that AI might be very hazardous. They're worried that we're aggressively striving to deploy robust AI systems and may do so under dangerous circumstances. Musk explained how superintelligent computers will come to govern the planet. Elon Musk angrily warns in the new documentary about artificial intelligence that these supercomputers may become an everlasting tyrant from whom humans would never escape. He believes that intelligent machines are already fundamentally changing our society by amassing personal data, advancing science and medicine, and creating new forms of superintelligence. We are fast approaching digital superintelligence that far transcends any human. I believe that is rather evident, Musk said in a documentary.